what up everybody it's your girl it's b baby 101 welcome back to my channel today i'm coming at you guys with a very neutral glam look um it's not too glam a bit of a smoky so you can go from day to night very very quickly with a tad bit pop of color featuring the mophi palette with jaclyn hill in that collaboration so i'm gonna start by setting the concealer that i laid down as a primer for my eyeshadows with the translucent powder in medium deep by laura mercier putting that all over my lids and it's just gonna lock in that color then i'm gonna be going in with this orange color and i'm sweeping that into the crease of my eye and i'm just gonna really work it in make sure you really blend it out i'm using a blending brush by morphe as well i'm in love with their brushes they are super affordable i'm gonna do a all you need to know video on brushes for starter kits um and if you'd like that make sure you give this video a thumbs up and comment down below Okay, love muffins, I'm going to be adding this deep purple, and this is going to go on the outer corner of my eye, and I'm going to blend that into that uh, crease color that we laid down earlier. This can get as intense as you'd like it to get. For me, I'm not going for a super intense look, but definitely it can get up there. It is dark enough, and these colors are highly pigmented, and it was very, very easy to work with. They are very easy to blend as well, so I'm super impressed by that. You know your girl was looking trying to see if she was going to get her money's worth and so far so good so blend that out and I'm using the same blending brush I used before Okay, now that that's blended to my liking, I'm going to be taking these two colors here and I'm going to be placing that on my lid. I wasn't looking for a super shocking lid color, not yet anyway. I was just looking for something that I can wear out and intensifies the day went on. So I'm just going to be adding this to my lid and blending that also into my crease with that transition color. Now, if you need to go back into any of these colors, it's a great time to do so. I always do it toward the end when I'm, I've am i kind of thought of my look and what I want it to look like, and I intensify the colors as needed. So that goes for the crease colors, but just make sure you blend. I spend some time blending my um, colors together, and it just makes the look look so much better. So blend your life away, girl. okay so you guys know my foundation routine and all of that so i'm not gonna really get too far into it but i am using the l'oreal lumi um foundation that i love i am going to do my top five drugstore on um, foundations that i am in love with on my lower lash line what you see is the same orange color i went in with before and i'm just going to use that as transition for the colors that i'm gonna lay down now adding this powder to my foundation just to mattifies it for me because I hate that I look so shiny all the time so I'm mattifying that foundation the Lumi definitely does give you that glow honey but I didn't want too much of it so I'm just going in with that and like I said I'm not gonna go too far into this but if you guys would like a tutorial on how I highlight and contour or my favorite foundations please let me know um, in the comment section below and give this video a thumbs up if you'd like it also if you have some favorite foundations that you'd like for me to try I'll be more than willing to try that so yeah 
Oh, another uh, interesting fact. This um, beauty blender, or we're just going to say it, blending sponge, I got from Maybelline. And it is a concealer beauty sponge. And it was on sale at Walgreens, y'all. So I'm going to do a comparison with that and the um, Real Techniques one and the actual beauty blender. So yeah, look out for that. Okay, I'm going to be going on top of that orange color with a uh, purple and I'm going to really blend that out. I've already sat down my setting powder and I'm baking, yes, I'm baking. So I'm also going to be blending it out with the um, angle brush. And this is an angle brush that I got from Morphe as well. Like I said, they have some really, really good brushes, y'all. This is an olive shimmer color I'm showing you here. This is what I decided to put on my tear ducts to just give me that type of pop that I wanted because I didn't want it to be too intense so it's not a blue. So it's just subtle but it kind of comes off as blue. I don't know if it's the blue background or what but it kind of comes off that way but it's not. Okay, so I've applied liner and I've applied lashes off camera and I'm going in and this is my Masita from the I Love Sarah um, collection from ColourPop. I um, actually love this. I wore it in my last um, video, but I am in love with Mama Sita. I love the mattifying look. It just gives me a different feel. Like I think I'm more of a matte girl myself, but it's super dope. I thought I'd take another approach instead of doing it all Mama Sita. I'm going to be taking um, Coral Crush. And this is by Dose of Color. I got this color, I want to say a year ago, and I really have not used it. Um, but I am in love with that. I guess I was waiting for the perfect time to pull it out. It looks really good with Mama Sita. It really does. So if you want to, you know, take away the intensity of Mama Sita, just add Core Crush War Coral and it will change it. Now, I am not a glossy person, but I thought I'd try the uh, Shine Shot by Maybelline and this is a pr prismatic lip gloss that's supposed to transform it and it really 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 looks good in my pan it looks more red on screen than it comes off in real life so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial stay tuned What's up everybody? It's me Baby 101. Welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm, I'm hoping that you guys really enjoyed the tutorial. I had a lot of fun, tons of fun playing in those colors from the Jaclyn Hill palette. She did a collaboration with Morphe and they released a really good palette. So really quickly, I'm just going to be talking on some of the things that I found really interesting about the palette. Um, and price point, shipping, all of that. Y'all ready? So I'm going to start off by saying that this is an absolutely beautiful palette. It's an all-in-one to me. And basically that's something that you can really start out with. So when I first started doing makeup six years ago, I um, started out with BH Cosmetics. It's not as pigmented. Um, BH Cosmetics is not as pigmented as Morphe by no means. Um, but it was a great palette to start out with. But if I had to do just one, this has a lot of different color options to choose from. You can go from day to night, summer to fall, winter. It has a lot of different colors in there you can play with and make it your own and be creative. I like the fact that I can take this to a fall palette and I like the fact that if I had to take one palette to a client's house to do makeup, that would be the palette that I take because I can do neutral, I can do smoky, I can do colorful, I can do a lot with that palette. You know what I'm saying? So it really got me excited to be creative and I could tell that she really put her all into the palette. So let's talk about the quality. Okay, so the quality of the shadows are really impressive. They aren't, they don't have a lot of fallout, which is really, really, really good. They don't have a lot of palettes to too many. But they don't have a lot of fallout, so it's really impressive. Um, I find it that it's like foil, like the shimmery colors are really like that foil eye, eyeshadow look without wetting your brush if you know what I mean and that's impressive because 
even some of my Urban Decay, I have to whip the brushes where they're not as pigmented, which is really, really great. Um, I don't think I really had a negative about the palette. In, I mean, this is like not my first time using it. I've used it at least twice before this already. Um, so it's not my first time using it. So I'm, I'm really, 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 really impressed with, and I could tell that she put a lot of work into it. And I was super excited for her to sell out of her palette. I knew she would because she's Jacqueline freaking Hill. You know, you know the name. So um, I'm gonna talk about pricing now. I guess the negative would be the pricing. I mean, it, I, I don't think it's bad, that bad, but it was like, damn. It was on the expensive side, but is it worth it? Absolutely. Because you're getting more than like, I feel like you're getting more than one palette. Even Maybelline makes little eyeshadow palettes that are $10 that only come with so many colors, and she has a whole bunch of them. And just a whole bunch of them. Endless possibilities if you're very, very creative and you seek like I see looks when I look at palette. I can see what I can do with the palette as soon as I look at it online and that determines if I buy it or not. The colorfulness, the I just didn't think they were gonna be like, I thought they were gonna be, you know, great quality, but I didn't think that they were gonna be like, damn. She really worked her ass off. Her. I'm not saying that I think she would put out a poo product, but I didn't expect it. That's what I'm saying. So, um, I'm trying to go over everything before my battery dies. Um, shipping was actually surprising, surprisingly fast. I mean, they did put out a disclaimer that it probably would take a minute, but I got mine in a week, and that was that was I was standing by the door waiting on my package. I could not let that go to the front office. I was like, mm -mm, give me mine. But um, shipping was pretty pretty quick. But the only thing I have to say is that the, the palette is thirty eight dollars. But you're getting multiple looks in one palette. So I guess it'd be really well worth it. Money well spent. Now I know there's controversy about she saying she changed the formula and people don't believe it. At the end of the day, for me, I don't listen to the hype. I listen to what I like. I haven't seen another palette like this. I like it. So I will spend money for what I like. Stop trying to make it a big deal, y'all. It's really not. Either you're gonna buy the palette or you're not gonna buy it. And most people buy it because it's her name. I, I don't think she put her name on something that was just whack. So I bought it because, you know, sister worked really hard on it. I can tell by just looking at it online. But actually to get the palette, to play with the colors, to know how pigmented they are, and to find colors just that complements every skin tone. Like you can use that on everybody, you know what I'm saying? And make it work, honey. So I was really, really, really happy to, you know, be able to order that. I was glued to my um, telephone and computer because I was like, I'm not missing this. The fuck? You guys enjoyed it. There will be more tutorials with this palette. This is just my demo. I want you guys to know how well the product works. I really hope my lighting is not washing out the color because it is colorful. It's really colorful and beautiful. This is like an olive green, so it's not like a blue, so it's not supposed to be like, bam. It's like a subtle color, like subtle purple and olive. So, yeah. Um, I have been away a little bit. I got a new hairstyle. This is from Maven. Maven, I ordered from Maven, I told you guys that, in my Her Hair Company final review. Um, and I'm gonna be doing a review on this hair, an initial review, and give me another week, because I really haven't had it in that long. I like the hair as soon as I took it out. Okay, it was it was bomb. Maven, Maven has some bomb hair, and they're very open with their customer service. You can cut even, I think it's like an open door, probably you can cut kind of the owner. It's just, it's easy. And I'll go over all that, that's not what this video is about, but I'll go over all of that later. So yeah, I hope you guys really enjoyed the video. If you guys like the palette, got the palette, let me know in the comment section. Tell me what you guys think, and tell me what kind of products you like. If you like them better, it's like I try them out and give it a test spin and see what's going on with the world. Because I don't know. I'm out of touch. I've been, you know, working a lot. So, you guys have any questions, you know, to leave them down below in the comment section. If you want to do a collab, I'm open to collabs now. So, you guys can hit me up in the comment section. Or leave, uh, send me a message and I'll be able to answer you guys. So, I'll see you in my next video. Bye.